Hey, what's going on guys? This is ETA Prime back here again. Today I wanna to show you guys something amazing. It just dropped today. This is called the Bezel Project. It's for RetroPie. Hopefully they add this for RetroArch on PC later on. But right now there's a script to install this. Have you ever dreamed about having a custom bezel for every game? Well, now your dream has come true. The Bezel Project has done that. The devs over there might be a little insane for creating this many bezels, but I wanna give them a big shout out because this is amazing. Now this comes to us from a lot of well-known names in the RetroPie community, like Sarah Kate, David Marty, Dwayne Hurst, Carl Johansson, Ben Mays, Frank Alcidi, and Mike Manley. If I pronounce any of those names incorrectly, I apologize. In this video, I'm gonna give you a little demo. I'm gonna show you how to install it, then I'm gonna show you how to set it up. It's really easy to do, but first, I really wanna demo this real quick. I'm gonna go into the RetroPie menu here. You might notice a new option here, Bezel Project. We're gonna enter this menu. The Bezel Project Bezel Utility menu. I'm just gonna click Yes. Download System Bezel Pack. This will automatically enable bezels. I'm gonna go into this menu here. So this is the list of supported systems here. We got Mega Drive, NES, SNES. We got a lot of good stuff in here and there are literally thousands of bezels. I've already downloaded SNES, Master System, and NES. All you have to do is click on one of these, make sure you're connected online. It will download the bezel pack, extract it, put everything in the right place, and when you start up a game, that bezel will appear. Now I've tested this a little bit, I'm going to go into Super Nintendo. So first game I wanted to test was Three Ninjas Kickback because this is one of the best games ever made and if they don't have a bezel for this, it's not even worth installing. Let's start it up. And that is insane. Three Ninjas Kickback. Bezel on the sides, everything's already set up. I'm going to exit out of here and I want to choose a random game. I'm not even going to look at the screen, I'm going to start scrolling. And I'm going to hit A in just a second, just randomly. I'm going to start this game. I don't even know what it is. My eyes were closed. Okay, Breath of Fire. I'm sure they're going to have one of these. Most definitely. I kind of wanted to choose a random game that a lot of people haven't played because I want to see if they're missing a bezel. This is insane. We'll give it another try with NES. Okay, NES. All right, so we're just gonna randomly choose a game. I'm gonna get it going as fast as I can, give it a little more time, and we'll start this game. Dr. Chaos. And they have a bezel for it. That is ridiculous. I wanna try this one more time here, and then we'll get into installing it because a lot of people are gonna really be wanting to use this. Jurassic Park. They gotta have one for this. Yeah. Okay. So as for ROMs, I'm using a no intro ROM set for my build here, but this should work with the hyperspin naming convention also. Not 100% on that. I do know it works with no intro. It should work with the hyperspin naming convention. We're gonna back out of here. Now I wanna show you how to install the bezel project. It's really easy to do. I got a keyboard plugged into my Raspberry Pi. There is a link to their GitHub in the description. There's also a PDF download with all the instructions. So you can download that and follow that guide if you'd like to. From my keyboard, I'm going to press F4. First command we need to type will CD into our RetroPie menu folder. Press Enter. Next is a wget command. This is gonna hit up their GitHub page and grab the bezelproject.sh. That's the bezel project script. Finally, we need to do a chmod so we can take ownership of that bezel project script that we just downloaded. And now all we need to do is reboot with sudo reboot. Now that we're rebooted, we have the bezel project installed. We're going to go to the RetroPie menu. You should see a new option, bezel project. I'm going to go in here and download one more before I end this video. Go ahead and read through everything here. I've already read through it. Make sure you understand why you're clicking on yes or no. Download system bezel pack. I'm going to download one more pack here, and I think I'm going to do Atari 7800. Mine as well. 
It's going to download it for us, automatically extract it, put everything in the right spot for us. Okay, so that's done. Go to cancel, exit. Now I'm going to test this out with Atari 7800. Just go with Ball Blazer. That is amazing. It just blows my mind that they got this to work correctly. For thousands and thousands of games. We'll try one more here in 7800. We'll go with a random pick. Dark Chambers. This has to have a bezel for every single game. I mean, these guys worked really hard on this. There's probably 10,000 bezels right now. Maybe a little more, and I'm sure they're going to add more. This is just craziness. So that's pretty much it, guys. It's really easy to install, and this is just an awesome feature to add to your RetroPie setup. Names of the developers I know of are on screen right now. If I'm missing anybody, please let me know in the comments below. I will add you to the description. Really appreciate all of you guys' hard work. This is just going to make life easier for everybody who wants to add bezels. I will link you to their GitHub page. There's also a PDF you can download in the description. They couldn't have made it any easier for this to work. Really appreciate you guys watching. If you could, hit that like button and subscribe. And like always, thanks for watching.